Hey guys, we're on location today at JNR Manufacturing in Mesquite, Texas. They make all kinds of smokers, Santa Maria's. So guess what? We're gonna meet with Ryan. He's gonna show us around the shop. They've got a test kitchen. We're gonna cook some steaks on a Santa Maria. So let's get into it. And here's the man right here. Hey Ryan, oh, no, Brandon Roy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what are we doing here today, man? Tell us about what we got here. Yeah, man. So uh, welcome here first. And yeah, thank you. This is this is our this is our shop. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, J and R Manufacturing. Been here since 1974. Um, third generation here. My grandfather started the company, and we build the best smokers, grills, rotisseries in the world, man. All right. This is this is where it all starts. We get all of our raw material dropped off right here. Mm -hmm. This is where we bend, cut, kink, and form everything by hand. Uh, the only things that we do not manufacture ourselves are thermostats, motors, something, yeah. something to that extent. Right. Everything else you see on that piece of equipment is made by hand um, right here in-house. Well, let's, let's get to cooking. We're just doing a couple of uh, boneless ribeyes. Um, we've got some, we got them seasoned with some little steak seasoning. The thing is, is like, when you're cooking over live fire like this and you don't have a lid, it takes longer, right? Because you're not concealing the heat. So it does take longer. It feels like it takes much longer, but it really doesn't. So I put these steaks on, I probably will touch them. I'll probably flip them for the first time after about 10 minutes. This method, you don't want to keep flipping back and forth. Really, like I'll flip them one time and, they'll be, and then I'll cook them on the other side and they'll be done. After about 10 minutes on this side, I gave the steaks a flip, and then I drizzled a little bit of this Kinder's Parmesan Herb Crunch on top to give them some extra flavor. Yeah, we got some broccolini going on. So the steaks are almost done. And so while the steaks are resting, I'm gonna finish this broccolini. That's, that's one of the hardest parts about cooking is getting everything to finish at the same time. So it's all about time management and knowing when to take things off, when to put things on so you finish all at the same time. Probably one of the hardest things to cook in. So like, if you look here, the way that this, this works, I've got my coals here, this is my hot section. So if I actually wanna put char on these, on these veggies right here, I've got it over here. Now, once they're done, I can actually use this up top here as a warming rack or I can just move them off to the side right here. But if you can, you can see, they're starting to get a little color. They're starting to blister a little bit. They're looking great. And then in terms of these steaks, let's temp them. 114, 115, we're rare, almost medium rare. These, will, these should be done in about five minutes. It's looking pretty good. Greens off first. Look at those charred greens right there. We've got just some uh, some live fire ribeyes, a little bit of charred broccolini. And uh, we're gonna let them rest uh, just for a couple minutes. They're gonna slice into them and see how they turned out on Santa Maria. All right, guys, y'all get in here. We're gonna we're gonna cut these steaks. We've got the broccolini here. Austin, you want some broccolini? I know you like them. <laughs> I know you like the greens. So, all right. So let's go ahead and let's cut cut right down the center, right here. All right. All right, you'll be my guinea pig. I'll be a guinea pig. It's still a little hot. We had to cut into them a little quick, but. Hey guys, this, this, is, this is Judy Smith. Hi, Judy. Judy Smith. Do you like steak? Judy's been with us for a long time, and she, uh, if there's one person who knows how to throw down with here. She does, huh? Well, y'all wanted to try? Mm -hmm. 
Get in here, Ryan. Try that. Try that guy. Here, I'll try one with you. That's pretty good. Would you like to try some? It's hot and fresh. Or do you like it a little more cooked? Oh no. Okay, good. Get after it. This piece, this is kind of like what I was talking about, like a little bit more medium rare plus, closer to medium. Mm -hmm. To me, that's the perfect temperature right there. Try that one. Not as good as the brisket as she cooked, man. I, I agree, the medium plus. That is broccoli, it? that broccoli. broccoli. <laughs> Try that guy. That's, that's, the, that's the best. My favorite part of the steak, right there. Yeah, it, it, this is this is what I would want my my ideal uh, demos. Look at that. You're a bad man. Here, Austin, get in there. All right, guys. So, uh, thank you, Ryan, for letting us come over to J and R uh, and and cook. This is an amazing facility. So, like, I was very excited to be able to cook on Santa Maria and. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed the steak. Man, it was amazing. Thank okay. you for being here. Yeah. And, uh, Absolutely. Appreciate it.